You know, sometimes when I'm all alone in my bee yard, if it's really hot, I'll pull my shirt off. As long as there's nobody around to pick on me. Usually, it's usually just fine. Today, however, it was, it was a little different. Back there tending to my bees, pulling honey off a couple of hives. And this, this one girl comes up, female bee, thinks it'd be funny to sting me in a titty. It's like eight or 10 of her friends watching, they're all cutting up laughing. They think it's funny, they wanna join the party too. Now I look like I've been breastfeeding a piranha. You know, bees can be cruel sometimes. All right, enough of all that. Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a week of life. It's winter, I'm just kind of stuck in the middle here because I'm not afraid to pick you. And I'm just trying I'm to sure give air time for the pollen. candidates and the people are making their own decision. I, look, I, have, I don't even have a vote in the primary because I'm a registered conservative. You gotta come check well, my pops before I hit the road. should get together and, and just say, look, uh, let's, let's work together. One of us can take uh, what are you doing? Why do you make it so easy? Check it for queens. Getting <laughs> up some more nukes. Three frame breeder nukes. Yeah. And if I got any queen cells in them and any eggs in them. A little early yet, just checking them, see if they look healthy, if they got enough feed. I really don't see any space. Closing them up. I'm off and running to my second call of the year. Uh, B truck was transporting bees through Flying J. I guess fueled up at Flying J and left a cluster of bees hanging on the side of a pump. So I got to run and see if I can take care of that for them. And I got behind the slowest Corvette on the road, <laughs> slowest car on the road, and it's a Corvette. Oh, I just can't get stuck behind a slow Corvette. I got to get stuck behind a school bus too. <laughs> Passing on the left. Is there more appropriate a place for bees to land than at the Flying J? <laughs> a bee truck came through the area, left them. They're trying to find a place to home up. They're just clustered here on this pole and fixing to snag them. All right, check out what I did. Two seconds ago, I set down a box with some drawn comb in it. Let's see if I can get some light where you can see them marching. Instantly, they start marching for the box. Instantaneous reaction to the smell of the box. I gotta get the ones out from behind it and see if I can get it close to the pole. Some of them have been out harvesting pollen. There's quite a few of them with pollen on their legs. They know there's a smell, they just gotta find it. They're coming to the box, they just hadn't found their way inside the box yet, but I'll get them there. Still got a bunch up top that hadn't smelled it yet. Put off that nose enough. They're not finding their way into the box too quickly so I pull out pulling out a frame to put them on the frame and in the box all these ones up top are deciding to finally start moving down look at the furious fanning going on <laughs> yeah there you go what's up man yeah, I was just talking to one of the maintenance guys here. He said that that uh, truck fueled up here earlier. Said he had two trucks fuel up one day and just left bees all over the ground. I got about a full frame of bees in now. Starting on frame number two. They're slowly getting off on it. I 
I'll tell you one of the fun parts is all these truckers walking by looking at me like, why in the heck are you pulling your beehive out at the gas station? <laughs> they don't have a clue what's going on. All they know is they see bees in the air everywhere and I've got a box over here. I think some of them are bright enough to have figured it out. You know, I get a lot of requests for comb honey. I don't know what to tell you. It's not like it grows on trees or anything. <laughs> 